Hello, welcome to another edition of Mike Peter's Amazing World of Toys. Today I've got a very special um, episode because it's um, not something I'm actually selling. It's somebody. It's uh, something that I'm actually giving to my brother. It's a very special uh, birthday present for him. Uh, it's his birthday coming up, and I wanted to uh, share it with you because it's uh, something that he, um, he he. It was a toy that he had when he was younger, and uh, we've talked about it. Um, what a wonderful thing it was! What a wonderful toy it was! And um, yeah, I, I managed to find him one, um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to send it to him for his birthday. Now the chances are he'll probably watch this, so it won't be too much of a surprise. But if he doesn't, it really will be a nice surprise for him. But before I sent it to him, I thought it would be really nice to share it with you. And what it is is this: uh, the Corgi exclusive Golden Jacks Mini Marcos. Um, yet the Golden Jacks was a really amazing innovation that Corgi brought in. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we can explore it. Um, so first of all, I wanted to share with you. Um, sorry, there's... Um, yeah, actually, let me just see if I can... That's my... Uh, sorry, that's my magnifying glass under here. Is that... Uh, see if I can move that a little bit more for you. So it's not quite... There we go. I'm sorry, it's a bit shaky, a bit wobbly, but that should be okay. Yeah, um, so there we are. Yeah, this is the um, Corgi exclusive takeoff wheels and four built-in golden jacks. But, you know, the other thing that I, I, I really wanted to share with you as well was um, this is a model from 1968. Um, and I just wanted to look at the artwork on there. I mean, you know, there was an artist was employed to actually paint this artwork. Oh, it's just fabulous, isn't it? I mean, talk about such respect for their um, their audience. Look how they presented the toys to the children. And that's exactly what this is. You know, it's a toy. That's what I love about them so much is th this is, you know, this is, let's just get that back in focus. Um, this is, you know, this is what toys look like. They're, <laughs> they're beautifully made and beautifully designed. And that's, you know, that's what, I, that's what we loved about them and we still love about them um anyway um so that's the uh the front of the box mini marcos gt is it 850 yeah gt 850 um and that's got a little diagram of the golden jacks and it says a die cast scale model with opening doors and bonnet or hood if you're an american um sliding seats and spring suspension and we can ex we'll explore all of that um and here we got the full um, piece of artwork there to admire. Isn't that amazing? That's really lovely, isn't it? Include as oh, a mini there. Look, there's a little mini in the background. I, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a? Uh, I'm not sure what that car is behind the Marcos, but that's definitely a mini there. Um, yeah, and then uh, Mini Marcus GT850 with takeoff wheels and four built-in golden jacks. And you can get spare wheels too. So, um, yeah, um, I had a little bit of research um, on the model. Um, I used uh, a wonderful book that I have. Um, I definitely recommend this to you if you're a collector. Um, um, it's... Uh, Britain's Toy Car Wars, Dinky versus Corgi versus Matchbox, and it's by Giles Chapman. And um, yeah, there was uh, I, I looked at the chapter in there that met where he mentions uh, the Golden Jacks. There's the there, there's the car with the wheel that comes off, and it says uh, the lovely model of the Mini Marcos incorporated the ingenious Golden Jacks and takeoff wheels, which were the acme of Corgi standard road car design achievement yeah that is true it, it, they this little car when you see it this little model it's absolutely beautiful um and um yeah it uh it um he mentions uh in there about the golden jacks now the interesting thing about the golden jacks was they uh they didn't last for very long unfortunately because um there was a new innovation just around the corner um 
because of Matchbox uh, had uh, introduced their whiz wheels. Excuse me, sorry about the noise. I'm just moving the book there. Um, yeah, they'd introduced their whiz wheels. Um, and so Corgi really felt that they had to compete uh, with the with the whiz wheels. Now, as an adult, I absolutely really love the Golden Jacks. But we've got to think of it as a, as a toy. And actually... Um, the Golden Jacks don't really run quite as well as the Whiz Wheels. They probably would if you lubricated them a little bit. Well, you know, I, I, I'll explain what I mean when, uh, when, when when we look at it in more detail. But yeah, it's um, yeah, the, the wheels were exclusive. Uh, they were exclusively designed for each of the uh, Golden Jacks models, apart from I think there was a, a couple um, that shared the same wheels. Uh, and like I said, this is from 1968. This was the first um, of the uh, Golden Jacks models to be released in 1968. Um, so we'll, uh, sorry, we'll uh, open the box and uh, have a look at the goodies inside. Um, let's have a look. It's kind of hard. So oh, what's this? Um, you know what? Let me just uh, put the camera on the tripod. And I'll see if I can uh, film it better for you that way. I don't want to get that. Uh, um, let me just. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, well, you won't mind if that's in there. That little bit's in there. So this is a. Uh, Corgi Model Club News. Every week in TV21, TV21, Century 21, that's right, TV Century 21, uh, which is a fantastic <laughs> weekly uh, Macmore comic. It was a comic, really. And it had, um, it had uh, all of the uh, Jerry Anderson, um, Jerry Anderson, Sylvia Anderson Productions, uh, there was car. There, there were drawn. There was drawn cartoons, and there, there was picture um, stories and things as well. Um, so yeah, this is so. Oh look, uh, the Corgi Model Club, Queensway, Swansea Industrial Estate, Swansea, Great Britain, and that's um, actually that was in the book. Um, the fact is, had, he had a picture in um, in uh, Giles's book. There was a picture of the uh, Corgi factory. Um, where these uh, beautiful models were uh, were made. So uh, let's get him out of there. I don't want to damage the box. Oh, my brother will laugh when he sees this. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? Look at the poly, this is straight up the box. I've, yeah, this is incredible, isn't it? Um, so we can see what it has. So. Uh, what did it say? Diecast scale model with opening doors and bonnet. Yeah, so let's have a look at the opening doors. Yeah, there's one. Oh, look at that interior. That's nice, isn't it? And the other one should open. Sorry. There we go. There's the other. And it said sliding seats, I think it said. Yeah, sliding seats. So the seats are supposed to... Yeah, sliding. It's more... Oh, excuse me. It's sliding. It's... Uh... Sorry about the camera wobble there. Um, yeah, it's slight. It, the seats were sliding, um, and, and the bonnet as well. It said it had a bonnet, didn't it? opening bonnet. There we go, or hood, as the Americans call it. And there's the uh, engine inside. Look at that detailed engine too. I mean, it's a tiny. That's the beauty. See, that's the thing. I mean, you can see the scale on here. Each of the squares is a is a centimeter. So you can see that the, the scale of the model. It's tiny. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a, to me as a child, looking at that, it was just perfect. Uh, oh yes, now we've got to talk about the golden jacks. We've got to look at the golden jacks now. This is the whole part with this model, and there they are, the golden jacks. Let's turn it right around so you can read it. Corgi Toys Mini Marcos GT850. Uh, the patent, the oh, see, so it's still. Uh, the patent was applied for there. That was obviously the patent or patent. Uh, it was for the Golden Jacks. Uh, it's made in Great Britain. Wow, look at that. And uh, they painted the tail. Oh, it's got out of focus again. Let's get it back into focus for you. Yeah, they painted the taillights there. 
not perfect but uh, see that's the beauty um when you see restored models of dinky and corgi when people paint the the, the tail lights I mean, they always make the paint. It's always per they're always perfect, but you can see, look straight from the fact this is from the factory, and they're not perfect. But you know that we didn't care when we were children. We loved them. We didn't even see those kind of details. So I think these were toys. Anyway, let's see the golden jacks work now. And turn that back round. So we lift them up like this, and then when we put the car back down, you'll see that it's actually on the jacks. Actually, I'll have to move the camera around for you to see that. Can you see that's actually, it's off the, it's actually off the surface. Let's get that to focus. And, uh, and then you can uh, remove the jacks. So, uh, let's just put the, uh, the camera back on the tripod for you. And, uh, because I need both hands, that's the problem. When you're making these videos, you actually need both hands to this to um to show how they work. So uh, the wheel just comes off, okay, and then you can actually you can um put the other wheels back on, and I'll show you the. Uh... There we go. Let me close that down. It locks that in place then, and I'll lock the oh lock the other ones in place. Uh, there it is. So let's look at the wheel actually, little wheels. So they've got tires on them as well. So each of the wheels has uh, been individually cast. With de look at the detail on that little wheel. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and then there's the, 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 and it's got a rubber tire as well. Um, so there we go. I'll keep that jack down like that. Well, actually all the jacks need to be down really because we're going to try and support it um, to show it um, up in the air. Um, I have to put them up like that, but but you can see, yeah, when you close close it down, it locks this in place. So it locks the wheel. I think it's absolutely fantastic little piece of design. It's really beautiful. But um, like I said, whiz wheels came along and they had to compete. They had to put the different wheels on them because actually, you know, it doesn't slide too badly, but it doesn't move quite as well as the as the Whiz Wheels models quite as fast. But so there wasn't too many of these made. But I think an absolutely beautiful model, and my brother is going to absolutely love it. I think. Um, so I'll have to get him to video his unboxing when he gets when it arrives. He's going to be absolutely. He's going to love it. I know he will. And I'll show you that too when he uh, when he. Um, when he receives it. Well, thanks very much for um, spending time looking at the uh, the Corgi Golden Jacks model. Um, uh, please, yeah, please uh, um, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm still running my competition for uh, subscriptions. Um, there's a prize. When we get to 100 subscribers, there's a prize of uh, uh, um, a Jerry Anderson, Jerry Silvery Anderson uh, Eagle model, a 172nd die cast Eagle model. Yeah, from Ayoshima. So, uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe and also um, comment. Please let me know what your favourite toy was when you were growing up. Um, I love to know because this is, show is all about toys. Okay, take care. I'll see you next time.